Today, Leon Bibbs, my Ohio takes us somewhere tough, rough, and cold. During the winter season in Northeast Ohio, there are some places a lot of us just won't go. Yeah, but Leon went there anyway. Even found some other folks out there who were willing to brave the cold with him. Leon, you found more action than you expected at this beach this week. Oh, how right you are. Photographer Rich Geyser and I wondered what we would find at the beach. We were not disappointed with the frosty Lake Erie waves roll in an unending rhythm. We had company in the wintertime beaches of Cleveland, the coal, the waves, and a lot more too. We Northeast Ohioans are a cold weather people. Regardless of whether we like it, winter hits us with a frosty fist. Even in years when snowfall averages are less than usual, the season can still hit. When it does, our beat goes on. Even outside, there is work to do. So through the cold and snow of winter, there is the grunt of construction. Even within sight of Cleveland's northernmost edge, Cleveland's beachfront. That is where the city's front door opens into Lake Erie and a cold draft knifes across Cleveland's beach sand and break wall threshold. Months ago, sun worshippers celebrated warmer times here. But here the tables are turned. Our story is of the winter beach and the hearty souls who don't mind a north wind stinging waterfront slap across the face. I think a lot of Clevelanders that did grow up here, they're used to the weather yeah. and the changes and yeah. seasons. We take it in stride and keep on going. We do. We're very tough. <laughs> so tough, most of us long for tender times near Cleveland's edge of water. They remember summer softer moments when sun worshippers found solace here. These days, winter finds fewer people, but some are here. They are visitors who dispute this is a dreary place in Cleveland cold. Instead, they look for beauty. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, the lake is different every time you come and look at it. It's like a serene type of beauty. Mm -hmm. It's quiet, there's nobody around, um, and it's just something about the snow and the, and the water when it's deserted like this. Edgewater Park lies mostly deserted. Mentors Headlands State Park, even more so. There is the occasional brave soul leading with his chin as if to dare the north wind to deliver a stronger punch. Brother, the winter wind can hammer even harder. But you there, you unnamed soul on impulse, venturing with your ankles in wind-whipped waves of Lake Erie, be careful. Winter beach is beautiful, but potentially punishing. Relatively few people will come to the beach of this part of the country during this time of the year, but there is a beauty here with the driftwood coming in and the waves coming in and the wind blowing. Indeed, there is a beauty winter at the beach. Perhaps for you, this is a story better viewed from the comfort of one's easy chair, but not for me. I like Cleveland's beaches at winter where at times it is rough and tough and roaring with spirit and with unusual cold weather beauty. Regardless of whether you actually visit an icy Lake Erie, we who live in Northeast Ohio are a strong and a hearty people. Facing what winter has to offer, we deal with winter. This is Leon Bibb admitting, sometimes I like standing on the Lake Erie shoreline facing the cold wind out of the north. Keeps me on my toes. <laughs> or does something to them. <laughs> Only Leon can make hanging out in the cold sound good, right?